Good morning, everybody. Uh, happy Thursday. Yay, we love Thursday. Uh, cause it's just closer to Friday. That's pretty much it. And then Friday is closer to Saturday. Huh? And it's beautiful. And it's beautiful. Uh, great weather forecast. Um, lots going on. Uh, lots of fun. Um, so we're going to continue today uh, to talk about uh, trees. And uh, every day I've been trying to grab a different tree uh, to showcase it. I love this one. Uh, one of my all time favorites. It's a ginkgo biloba, uh, re closely related to Rocky Balboa. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's way better looking than Sylvester Stallone. Uh, if Sylvester Stallone is watching this, don't beat me up. <laughs> so, and that wraps this up. Just wanted to do my joke. That was it. I got nothing else. Um, so anyway, we're going to talk about, so we discuss trees. Uh, what is a tree? Then we discuss the science of the difference of trees. Then we discussed aesthetics. So now let's say, you know, all of that, you've got a good choice. You came to the garden center, you picked out your Rocky, you got your tree, you take it home. Now, what do you do? What is the next step? Because let's face it, trees, if you buy the wrong annual, uh, you buy a geranium uh, and you wanted it to be pink and it's red, you only have to live with it for a year. Um, but if you bought the wrong tree, well, that's a big problem. And if you bought the right tree, this is the one you want. It is a long term investment. This isn't something that you get rid of at the end of the year. It isn't something that you just forget about. So if you've gone to all that effort, well, then you may as well plant it correctly and ensure that you've got that longevity that you're looking for. So you guys have heard me say um, a million times to the point where even I'm like, wow, man, you sound like a broken record. But the most important thing you can do is get your soil right. And the vast majority of the time, the soil you've got is going to be fine. It just might be dormant. And trees are notoriously hardy. We want them hardy. Again, it's a longevity thing. I don't really care if my annual develops a deep root system as long as it puts out flowers or fruit all season long, because either way, it's dead. I need my tree to develop good roots and a good foundation because these roots and these foundations are indeed what the whole house is going to be built on. So if I suffer and stutter at the start, it's not going to go well. So best thing you can do is get a sea soil. Okay. I love this product. We all do here. The reason we love it is by gardeners. Okay. First and foremost, I'm a gardener. Uh, and this product just works. It's amazing. It's Canadian. It's organic. Uh, comes from Vancouver Island. And what you want to do, you want to dig a hole. If you can, you want to go a little bit deeper than the tree and you always measure. Let's get this guy out here. Come on. There we go. You always want to measure off of the soil level, not the pot. So you want to go a little bit deeper. So if this is your existing soil. That's that. You want to go about that. You want to go a little bit wider. So if your hole's that, go about that. I'm going to put back in the pot so we don't shock any root systems. Um, and I got to make a mess. That's awesome. Um, and now I'm really messy. Anywho, the existing soil that comes out, don't get rid of that and go pure compost. You want to do a, uh, a one third, two third, or half and half blend. If your soil is very heavy clay, half and half. If it's a really good loose soil, about a third compost, a th uh, two thirds existing soil. Now, the reason for that is this soil here, I shouldn't have thrown it away, but it's a really rich, soft, fantastic soil. Your soil might not be. So you put it in compost, it's growing in this. Those roots are like, ah, oh, life is easy. Then they get to the end of your hole and they hit clay and they're like, oh, no, I've been mollycoddled and lived in my parents' basement for too long. I can't get through the clay. 
Well, that's where this comes in. You mix the clay and the sea soil. Well, now those roots are forcing through a harder soil. And when they get to the existing soil, they're used to that. So amending your soil, I've said it before, I'll say it again. If I could pick between amending soil and fertilizer, I'm always gonna go with soil amendment. I'm always gonna go with both if I don't have to pick, but I'm always gonna amend my soil. So great, you've done that, you put your tree. Before you put your tree in, you wanna fill that hole up at the bottom so that it's level. Then you put it in, make sure it's sitting pretty, backfill, firming down, not compressing, but making sure it's firm until you're at a good level here. Now, as you're doing that, speaking of the roots, I recommend this product. It's called Mike, uh, and it's a uh, fungus, and it actually bonds on the root system. So when your tree's out, you rub it on the roots, you put it in, and it's gonna make your roots explode. I think they've got a pictogram on it. So that's the difference. Um, and all it's gonna do, it's not a fertilizer, but it's gonna give you a massive root system. Perfect for trees. So now you're back full. you put your mics on, your soil is amended, yay. Now this tree doesn't need it, I grabbed a little one. But say you're planting a 10 foot tree, you may need to stake it. And a lot of people see this bamboo here and they go, oh, my tree's already staked. This is not a stake. This is to help it grow nice and straight, that's it. Um, you want to, when you do a stake, you don't want it in the root ball, you want it in the ground around it, simply so that if it is gonna fall over, it's in existing ground. If that's gonna fall over, that stake isn't gonna protect it. I can knock that over. If I put these three in the ground, hammer them in, make it tight, but not so that it's pinched. You want the tree to move and put them in the existing ground, I cannot knock it over. So that's how you stake a tree. And keep an eye, these don't live on the tree forever. This is a one, two, three year project max. Once your root system is developed using your mic, and we're gonna to get to fertilizer in a second, watering, then the stakes come off. Otherwise, what can happen as your tree grows and you've got your stake, well, the wood starts to grow into it and you end up with weak spots. Okay, so now, we planted our tree, okay? We dug our hole. Handy dandy shovel, recommend a good shovel. We've dug our hole, we've dug it a bit bigger. We've amended our soil. So we've mixed it up, we've broken it down, we've mixed it with a compost. We've set the height, so now our soil is level with the existing ground. It might be a lawn, it might be a flower bed, whatever. We know that's good. We've backfilled, we've firmed it down, we've got it nice and even. So now the height, we haven't buried the crown of the tree and we haven't left any roots exposed. It's a great height all around. We've staked it. Now, the rest of that soil that's sitting out there, we build what's called a tree well. You wanna go around approximately the circumference of your root ball and you wanna build a little wall. So all you're doing is cupping it and you're gonna end up with it about that deep, a little wall all around. That's your tree well, and that's gonna come in when you water, which is gonna come in at the end, okay? So now you've got your tree, you've got your root well, it's staked, we know the height is good, we know our roots are good, everything else. Next thing I recommend is mulching. And uh, too many moving targets here. It doesn't really matter what mulch you use. Oh, that's comfortable. Like, I like my security blanket mulch. Um, hmm, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I like personally a shredded mulch, okay? You can see right there, all it is, just bark that's being shredded up. Um, that's my favorite. There's colored mulch, uh, there's cedar mulch, there's bark chips. It doesn't really matter. The reason I like mulch is two, uh, two reasons. One, um, it's going to help with moisture retention. Um, so when I water, it's going to keep moisture in there and stop it from drying right out. Um, and it also helps with weed control. Okay. So when you factor in all of that moisture and temperature control and weed control, that's a good thing. 
play to your aesthetic. I like the look of this and I find it works better, okay? At the end of the day, I don't care. Use charcoal, mulch, use bread, mulch, cedar, mulch, chips. You do you, it's your yard, whatever makes you happy, but put a mulch down, it is beneficial. So now we've got that water, okay? Water, 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 water. I can't say enough. Your tree well is this deep. I am not kidding when I say fill your tree well, okay? Right to the top, let that percolate through. You're gonna do that every day for the next two weeks. If it's a scorching hot day when you plant, scorching hot, you might be doing it twice a day. Then you're gonna taper off to every other day for about the next two weeks, three weeks. So we're looking at about a month, month and a half. Then you're gonna let the tree tell you. So when your tree wilts, you're gonna water it and bring it back up. The reason for that, you water too much as your tree's establishing, the roots have no reason to dig. All their water's on the top. They're like, hey, we got it easy. So they're not gonna go down. You don't give it enough water. It doesn't have the strength for those roots to go deep. So you're gonna keep an eye. And the moment you see your leaf start to wilt, water, it's gonna stand back up. Eventually the tree will harden off. You'll have a mature tree. You might never have to water it again. Nature will take its course. And last but not least, and this really is important, is fertilizer. And you can see I grabbed the water soluble, I grabbed the granular, and I grabbed fertilizer spikes. Again, it doesn't really matter. I like water soluble. I like to be able to water. Uh, I like to know that it's getting exactly what I feed it when I feed it. This breaks down based on moisture and heat. Uh, if it's cool or I'm not watering, it's not gonna break down as quick. If it's very hot and I am watering, it's gonna break down really fast. These guys work much the same as this. You hammer one into the root ball, it breaks down and feeds the root ball. Problem is, it's mainly gonna feed this area, not over here. So if I put a spike in here, it's not really doing much over here. So I like water soluble, but at the end of the day, maybe you like putting this down so you can forget about it and be done. Maybe you're going away to the cottage for a month or six weeks. If so, can I come? I'm just kidding. Um, but not really, if you do have a cottage uh, with a lake, I would like to come. But um, these are gonna work fine for that. If you're gonna be away, you wanna put these in the ground um, and get that tree fertilized. So those are the steps you want to take. You wanna plant, you wanna make sure it's at the right height. You wanna add your mics, then you wanna backfill everything, make sure that's all good. Then you're gonna stake and you're gonna stake properly to not in the root ball, to outside, okay? Then we're gonna mulch, make sure, oh, we're gonna build our tree well. So yeah, I almost forgot a step. Then we're gonna mulch inside the tree well. Then we're gonna fill our tree well with water. Then after a couple of weeks, we're gonna start fertilizing. That's it, okay? It is a lot. You know we post our videos on YouTube. We have uh, blog posts on tree planting. Uh, if ever you're unsure, hit us up, ask questions. We got expert staff in the tree lot, especially Diane, love Diane. She's in there. Uh, one uh, pro tip, the trick with Diane is getting her to not talk about trees, okay? <laughs> pro tip, Brandy laughs because she knows it to be true. So that wraps us up for the week. Everything trees, one of my favorite subjects. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a Hawaiian shirt, try ye. Um, and we'll see you guys Saturday for a planter webinar. If you haven't already, enter the Winner Veggie Pod. Uh, and we'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll see you Saturday. Have a wonderful Thursday, everybody. Bye.